Hi Aries, I wanted to do just a random video for some of you, so I hope the messages here will help. This looks to be a romance, romantic reading, and you know what Aries, everybody deserves love too, right? And that's the thing with you guys, you guys have doubts, you've got issues, you've got concerns. For some of you with this King of Cups here, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. It seems as though you wanted that recognition and love. You wanted to be seen. You wanted to meet someone. You had your hopes, your heart, your heart. You had your hopes, your heart. You had your heart pinned on some type of a wish. You really wanted to meet someone, but it was taking a while. You might have felt lonely, abandoned. Not necessarily heartbroken, but you know, you kind of like wondered, but what am I, chopped liver? So for some of you, that was your thought process, right? Feeling kind of lonely in love. And you're watching everybody else get their shine, get their day, meet their boo and whatnot. Meanwhile, you're just like sitting here like, well, where's mine? So now the thing is with this high priestess here, chariot card, Five of Swords, the World card, Ten of Cups. I think some of you are special. Yes, we're all special. But some of you are a little bit more so special in terms of your psyche, your intuition. I think for some of you, you might have certain secrets that hold you back, things that you don't want to come to light. So it kind of makes you hesitant in terms of getting out there and meeting other people. Whatever these things are, that's exactly what's stopping you from going out there and finding your success. And again, some of these things could be self-doubt, could be worries, could be the people around you. Because it seems as though every time you tell yourself, I'm gonna move towards this person or I'm gonna move towards putting myself out there something kind of like pops up in between and kind of like chops you off at the knees where that is concerned some of you I think you have literally loved and lost you've got the two of cups two of swords queen of wands here let me just pause with these three cards for a minute some of you may have loved and lost and that's what you're keeping to yourself that's what confuses you in terms of even trying to get out there and look for someone because you may have had a person snatched away from you you know i'm not gonna call anyone a jezebel harlot <laughs> but you may have had a person snatched away from you just when you thought you guys were all lovey-dovey all cupcaked up and you could have even seen some things in this person that made you think you know they're too much for you too many issues too many too much drama maybe you might also feel like this person was seeing other people you could have been hearing news gossip rumor that yeah they're talking to other people so i don't know what they're telling you but it's not true stuff like that so in terms of you guys wanting to get out there you don't want to be blindsided or set yourself up for any type of failure especially with this moon card it's like fear of the unknown or you know not knowing when some type of disaster might hit and this is some of this stuff it's not in your mind per se like you're worried about it it could also be just like you know bitter memories for some of you you know kind of makes you feel like you're going nuts could depress you a little bit you could have actually really did hear something or see something that you didn't expect to see so it dimmed your lights a whole lot you know so I think the message here for you guys, uh, come on, I'm not going to be cliche and tell you that you're deserving of love. <sighs> Let's see what else we got. I mean, you are deserving of love. We all are. But for you, some of you, you know what you want. You don't want the childish crap. You don't want something that's going to make you have to like cry and leave. And the thing is, 
when you do move on and try to get out there, are you gonna be encountering the same nonsense again, like stop and go? You know what I mean? You get all excited and then you gotta stop and wait. And half the time it's not even you that has to stop and wait. Sometimes people will tell you, oh, I just need more time and you know, X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. And it's them just, you know, bringing the drama to you. So final four cards here, we have the Fool card, we have Nine of Pentacles, we have the Star card, and we have Justice. A lot of major arcana here. Fool card, Star card. It talks about taking that leap of faith towards your wish, your desire. If any of you are dealing with anything, I think you needed to stay home and recuperate. Rightfully so, with justice on your side, you'll be okay. But for those of you, for those of you taking that chance, you might have to go the distance. Or this next person you meet, things will go the distance. You might meet someone that's actually stable as well. So where you guys are more like firecrackers and passionate and stuff like that, you might meet someone that's calm, that's steady, someone that's upright. Like they'll be truthful to you. This is someone that's worth the risk, worth the, the weight. This is someone that you can pin your hopes on, right? So I don't know if this really helps in any way. So let's see if I can recap because sometimes I go on so much I lose track of the actual point. So for some of you, I think you've been waiting for your true love, for romance. Someone that when you look at them, you can see, you know, the love reflected back, the goodness, the warmth, the positivity. Feels like you've been waiting for a long time. You've been waiting in vain. For some of you, the last time you waited, it didn't turn out too well for you. But I think the message in these cards here, slow and steady wins the race. Take that chance. You don't want to feel like anybody's fool, but you will be all right. So, I don't know. Let's hope and see, right? If you guys meet anybody, you owe me $10. That's all I'm saying. Have a good night, Aries.